Oh my. I know what you might be thinking it is, but I promise it's an electric toothbrush, which I am told I can destroy. I mean, it seems to work, but I'm also told the battery is shot, or doesn't last very long, but, uh... Anyway, I know the standard recycling procedure for these is that you stick it in the base, twist it, and it breaks right open for ease of disposal or whatever. So, let us try that now. Hmm. I feel like I'm going to break the stand. Shh, quiet. Stop it. Uh, that didn't immediately do anything. Okay, slightly more work than I expected. All right, so we've got our little coil that's for the inductive charging. And an assembly that doesn't wish to escape. Oh, and I got a spring. I don't know. I feel slightly bad that I understand that I should have done that in the first place, but oh well. So yeah, nice little flap to go over the button. It's like way overbuilt. Uh, the whole thing is pretty darn solid, so uh, I feel bad for hurting it that much. Uh, you know, haste and all that. Oop, don't short, sorry. Um, nice little battery. Um, you know, if I didn't do this, this thing would have been perfectly fine. Ah, oh, I'm such an idiot. Ah, oh, well. Simple circuit, we'll take a look in detail when I grab the uh, macro. Just trying to figure out all this wiring. Overbuilt little thing. See, this would have been the uh, nice thing to keep mostly intact. It's still springing in, in one piece, that's not bad. Just throw it right out around there. That bottom piece is probably way too potted to look into. It's not going to be too complicated in there. Without hopefully shocking myself much, let's take a look at how this motor gear works. Okay, here we are. It's the main part, and it is probably some made up weird micro thing. This should just be one of those little surface mount buttons. Looks like a diode or a cap next to it. Nice little inductor for the uh, power supply for it. Some little probably charging chip. Here we see the battery side of things. It looks like via stitching, I would think. So the battery negative is just soldered right onto a little clip here, which acts directly as the negative, I would assume. And then the positive is in through here. It starts going into some little switching supply for everything. Here's the dual color LED. And then there's the button. Is there more stuff behind the button? A little bit. Just the soldering for positive battery tab and probably something for the motor. Let's take a look here. What I do know, these little spots are actually 
even tells you the diode, which is the light that indicates that you are applying too much pressure. So that's two solder points to wire, which if we follow it, if we follow that, goes to these little relief or something. Then comes all the way over here. Finally going all the way back up here. And then solder directly onto the little lead. So somewhere in here is a way to sense if you've applied way too much pressure. All right, thanks for watching my quick little look on this. Be sure to subscribe if you want more weird teardowns and other things.